Hey guys, I am back, and this cool monolith looking box is my first shipment from the Monthly Knife Club. It's here. A little late in the month, but it's here. So, we are going to get into this and see what we've got from Monthly Knife Club, from the Onyx level subscription. Now, to do the uh, unboxing, to open the knife, we're using the knife, um, my Manix 2 and Maximum Steel, which has been customized and quite used. Um, still haven't had to sharpen this since I got it, and I got it what, two, three years ago. Excellent, excellent blade, love it. So anyway, I'm really excited to see what we've got from Monthly Knife Club. Been wanting to add this to the subscription for a while, and you know, here it is. So if I can open the box, and it is a Kaiser. Looks like there's there's two possible knives that could have come in the uh, box. Um, so I'm not sure, you know, if it was just at random. They decided who got what. Uh, so it was either the DPX Gear Lion Steel Made Hess II Assault. Knife. I would have loved that. To tell you the truth, uh, that would have been awesome. Um, but the Kaiser still, I love Kaiser. The Titanium, Intrepid, or Lancer 2. So it's actually a combination of three different knives we could have. Um, so we know that I'm down to the Kaiser. Now is it the Titanium, Intrepid, or the Lancer 2? Um, and I've got the Lancer 2 in this box. So S35 VN blade, Titanium handle. Cool. It's a coupon code if anybody's interested in new orders of Monthly Knife Club. So Monthly Knife Club has a lot of different um, plans and things you can sign up for. I just picked the Onyx because it supposedly comes with some of the best knives. Um, this is very different from a lot of other subscriptions where you get a whole bunch of stuff. This gives you one or two really good quality uh, knives. And I cannot remember how much the plan actually costs right now, but I'll, I'll put that in there for what I signed up for. But you can check their whole thing. I, I'm really wishing that I had done the ultimate plan now, though, just to check out all this stuff. Although, like, looking at it, not a lot of it seems all that cool. The Spider Co. Special Edition Carbon Fiber would have been cool. Um, yeah. So, actually, I'm pretty happy with what I got. Okay. So, let's take a look at what we have in here. Now, there's different product lines for Kaisers. Um, what I get a lot from Mastrop is the uh, Kaiser Vanguard, which is kind of still excellent quality, but um, slightly lower end, slightly more affordable. This is the, the Kaiser Kaiser, the more expensive kind of Kaisers. There's warranty information, um, you know, microfiber cloth that comes with them and comes in this nice pouch. Hmm. Nice. Now, of course, I'm going to have to look up the Intrepid to see what that is, but cannot argue with an S35VN and uh, titanium setup on a knife at all. And it appears to come with a nice little anno job on it as well. So, pretty light. I mean, it should be light for a titanium knife. A little bit of oils on it. Pete is sniffing some boxes. So when it comes down to looking at fit and finish, there's not a lot to judge because you see you've got your two titanium sides, your scale side and your frame lock side, and no liners or anything. Perfect centering. Uh, everything looks, all the hardware looks just very nice, simple. It's a simple, nicely done knife. Um, now, to some people this would be fancy. To some people this would be a very simple knife. Really interesting work there on the clip, though, to look done. I mean, it's just, you know, nice machining. Different. Um, that is going to be rough to get in and out of a pocket, though, but you're not going to lose that. No way. Luckily, I have a paper towel right here. Just um, oil on anodized titanium tends to dull down the finish of the titanium very much, especially when you start touching and everything. So what I'd like to do is get some plain old uh, Windex or something and just give this a little spray real quick just to bring the, the, the nice, you know, best color to it so you can see. I hope the lighting's catching it. You got a really nice blue to purple, kind of a lavender color anno on there. 
very very nice and all the little detailing that you'd expect with a Kaiser it's a little small a little small but It has, if the camera's going to catch it, a little bit of a dark stone wash finish on it. Nice look to it. A little bit of a recurve in it, but nice belly. Um, bearings. It is still a little bit small, but... Um, a little hard for me to get good grip on it for, for the flipping action just because of how small it is and I'm trying to avoid putting my hand in the lock. But push button, yeah, a little effort, but not bad. Light switch though, sure, all day long. Nice. I like this a lot, actually. I mean, I like the knife. Um, it's a really nice look to it. I have the Windex with vinegar with me, not the Windex with ammonia, which is what really, you know, brings out a nice, really pretty looking color on the Anno, so I need to, to wipe it down again, but um, great looking design, real nice big swedge on the blade, almost like a real big kind of drop point harpoon shape, um, and I love that the clip matches the blade. Very nice knife. Um, I know they do a lot of Kaisers and stuff with Monthly Knife Club. I'm hoping that as I'm subscribed, they'll get something maybe a little bit exotic, a little bit different, um, or maybe even, you know, more than one knife. That's why I'm thinking, uh, you know, I might need to try out one of the other plans too, just to get, um, you know, something else in the box. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, but... I'm very happy with this. I think the value, you know, for sure, is there in terms of what I spent on the box and what came in the box. It is a, a very pretty knife, but, you know, pretty is one thing. Let's test it out, see how it does. Let's see. That's not good at all, huh? That's not what you want to see out of a Kaiser. Not cool. I mean, Kaisers are usually top of the line. I think what's happening is the paper is catching a little bit when we go around the big curve on the belly there, because uh, on the recurve section, it's pretty damn good. Let's see if I can test just the belly section. Yeah, I don't know what's happening as we go around that belly. That's weird. You can't break a blade in. I mean, it's either sharp or it's not. I don't know what's going on. Well, I gotta be honest, that's a less than stellar paper test for this Kaiser. I'm, I'm a little disappointed, but let's see uh, how it fares with our standard 550 cord. So first, we're gonna do the pull through, which was a little bit more effort than I would have thought uh, and hoped for, but let's do a slice. And the slice is really good. Very happy with it. Yeah, so slicing is is really nice. Um, I don't know what the, the deal with the paper test was there. Um, I almost want to bring it back and just... There's something that it's getting held up on. I don't know what. Look. Weird. Because obviously a well-sharpened blade... It's just getting held up on something, on the paper test. Oh well. So, I mean, it is, it's a very, very good looking knife, very nicely done knife. I think that the edge could use just a, a little bit of maybe just the finest diamond hone on it and then a little bit of strop and this thing will be like a razor. I haven't done this in a long time, but... Yeah, see, it's not, 
Mm, shaving, I guess. It's just not doing a terribly good job of it. Um, yeah. Sometimes it happens, you know. I talk very highly of Kaiser and a lot of their products. This one, not all of them can be a number one right off the... I mean, there's got to be a dud now or then. I, I don't think it's a knife's a dud. I just think it, it could use a little extra finishing, that's all. Um, but the Anno job is great. The finish on the blade is great. It is very light knife. It is pretty comfortable, even though it's a little bit small. One of my complaints would be there's no grip on it. I mean, it's, it's slippy. It's definitely EDC. Not something I would want to carry around, um, you know, even on a hike in the woods or, um, you know, some, anywhere where my grip on the knife might be challenged. Um, it is a lovely design, but it's smooth all over. Um, so any kind of environment where it might be getting wet, where uh, I, you know, like I said, where my grip might be challenged by anything on the knife, it, it really doesn't have anything for my hand to bite into gentlemanly in terms of you know gentlemen's carry and um and and fit the bill of a, a very well refined edc not something that i'm you know you might carry on an excursion um and for that edc purpose i think i think it would fit the bill i think if i if i had to rate it you know on a scale of one to ten in different areas and people have asked me to start doing this so this is a great opportunity to start doing it um carry weight and size, uh, I'm, I'm going to give it, for me, uh, I'm going to give it an 8. Great weight, great balance. Size, a uh, little small for my tastes, although I know that for a lot of folks, for a, a nice little EDC, they probably really like this. For styling, uh, I'm going to give it a 9. I think the styling is great. Um, love the shape of the blade. Uh, I'd like to see the stone wash finish put a little bit more pronounced on there. But other than that, I love the anode job. I love the the holes drilled out. Um, I just, I love the accenting on the clip. Um, really well done. Uh, in terms of fit and finish, it's a 10. Because, you know, Kaiser quality in terms of fit and finish is always is always excellent. And, and it is excellent fit and finish. In terms of functionality, though, I'm going to have to drop it down to... Um, about a seven. Mm, no, about a six. Just because uh, I think that, well, we saw some issues with the blade. Um, we saw that, you know, it does need a, this one particularly, okay, so I don't know if they're all like that, but this one particularly does require just a little bit of extra refining. And again, it's, you know, a nice, smooth, simple EDC is one thing, but uh, I like knives that I can carry both EDC wise and that I can carry out in the field with me a little bit. And this one is just is just not one, um, you know, even if I were to Cerakote it very tactile type colors, I'd, I'd have to machine in some jimping and everything to feel like I have a really good grip on it. So yeah, it loses some major points there for the functionality of it. But uh, I just made up that scale of one to 10 in the rating system completely on the spot because people keep asking me what I rate them for one to 10. But I guess the overall score would be the average of all those. So I'll keep working on that. Here's the overall score, yes. Um, maybe this was not a great time to start that because I just did it off the top of my head. But new subscription, first one, I think it's a good time to start a rating system like that. I might, I might add, you know, you guys feel free in the comments to add different uh, categories where I might do a 1 to 10 rating on it as well. I don't want to go above 10 categories, but then, you know, we could always do an average of 10 different categories on a scale of 1 to 10. That would be a good way to do it. Anyway, what do you guys think? So Monthly Night Club, who else subscribes? Uh, and who might be interested in subscribing. I subscribed to this because um, I thought this would be a really good subscription for me to do on the channel. And I really wanted, I've been, I've been saying to people who ask me like, what's a good subscription for just knives? Um, I got Ravencrest, which is a, you know, we see that it's kind of a uh, lower end, we'll say, subscription. Um, and what they deliver, and I thought we'd compare it to a higher-end subscription. Um, same product, you know, same kind of thing, knife of the month, but different ends of the spectrum. So uh, we'll keep this going for a while and see what we've got. I'm not unhappy with it. I just think there's some improvements to this knife. I would have loved the, uh, I'm trying, uh, you know, uh, the Hess too. I've always, I've wanted just to check it out. That would have been cool. Um, but at the same time, like I said, I, I cannot be unhappy with a Kaiser. Uh, Kaisers make great knives, even if they do have 
little elements about it that I'm not happy with, Kaiser makes a fantastic knife, a great knife. Um, and even if it's not one that I want to keep in my collection, amazing trade value for other stuff. Um, so, I mean, Kaiser, you can't go wrong with at all. So I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy uh, with the first box in this subscription. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? Now, uh, I will look, see if I can find this on Amazon. Um, and if I can, I will put it in my Amazon influencer page. And it will be listed under Video Reviewed Knives. Can't really, probably not going to be under my favorite folders, but definitely under Video Reviewed Knives um, if it's on there. Has great lines, really nice lines, really well machined, really nicely done. I really am willing to bet that the edge issues were just mine because I've never had a Kaiser that came out of the box anything less than perfect before. So some of them, like I said, they're always going to slip through the cracks in onesies and twosies. So curious to hear what you guys think. Um, of this knife, of this subscription. Um, you know, like, what are you guys hoping for to see? What kind of knives would you love to see come out of this subscription? Thing again, Onyx is supposed to be the high-end knife subscription from Monthly Knife Club. Well, guys, I got some more giveaway entries to put in a spreadsheet and get that all done so I can give stuff away to all of you. So as I'm doing that, please check out all the video links and everything. Um, again, influencer page, Patreon, Sign up the Patreon team. The more Patreon members I get, the more monthly subscriptions I can do. They are the ones that support these monthly subscriptions. But Facebook, Instagram, emails, all the good stuff is in there. So please check all that out. And remember that you are all awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'll be back again real soon.